together. Let's go, Nobu. Hey 
Masako said to find the monk in charge of this camp. He may be able to read the map I found on the traitor's brother. Lord Sakai, I think I saw Lady Masako riding for the beach at Komoda. Her husband died there, and her sons. I hear Mongols still hold the beach. I worry for her safety. I worry more for what she'll do to them. But you're right. I shouldn't leave her alone. Lord Sakai, how good to see you. Would you like to see what I have? Goodbye. Go with Kami's protection. My lord, anything to offer from your hunter? I'm sorry. I need more for that. <clears throat> May your hunts be successful. Junxing, I should have expected to find you here. How may I serve you, my lord? Do you know these lands well? I set up all of these camps. Does this map mean anything to you? Hmm. We give these to our wagon drivers who deliver food. They mark where the camps are so no one gets missed. Is that blood? Do you see anything that isn't one of your camps? I hear rumors of our own people killing each other in Ariake. Traitors are preying on innocent people. They murdered the women and children of Clan Adachi. You can help bring them to justice. This map shows Ariake's lighthouse. We have no camps there, but people have said bandits have taken it over. Not bandits. Something worse. Lady Masako has arrived. I think she prefers to speak with you. What have you learned? The headman of Kuta village might be at the lighthouse. Clan Adache built that for Ariake. 
This traitor has no shame. Sado has men protecting him. There's no way they won't see us coming. Good. I want to give that traitor just enough time to fear what's coming. Let's go. Why would Sadao betray you? I accused him of stealing rice. Starving our people to turn a profit. You think he caused the rice shortages that hit Kuta? I could never prove it. It was such a disaster. I knew he was trying to hide something. Bad men are good at hiding their true natures. Guards outside. The coward is hiding at the top. Sadao! I've come for your head! Hey!
killed Hina, my brother! They died because of you! You should have died with your family! I wish I had! Damn you! You killed Sado. Masako. He helped kill everyone I loved. And for what? To satisfy his pathetic hatred? When the Mongols defeated the samurai, I wanted to die with them. I threw myself into a battle I knew I couldn't win. It was... easier. How do you survive? I remember that I have people to protect, and the dead to avenge. With Sado dead, whoever is responsible will hear that I'm alive and hunting. They'll become afraid, make a mistake. Just be careful, Masako. You too. You are a part of this now. We'll find the other traitors on that list. But first, we must save my uncle. I'll be at Kaneda Farmstead when you need me.
Calm down. Who's been taken? The invaders took our house. Down the road. My wife is there. With my son. You left your family behind? What choice did I have? I'm no warrior. <sighs> I'll help them. Stay here. Son of the family here, maybe outside. Laundry, still damp. The attack was sudden. Someone was killed here. Bodies were dragged, thrown in the water. A child's toy. His family didn't survive. I should let him know. My lord, did you find them? Hmm. Your family was killed. I'm sorry. Why didn't you save them? I ran. Like a coward. I should be dead too. It's not your fault. Don't let their deaths be in vain. Resist the invaders. Help those in need. Yes, my lord.
No more. Susano, protect me. Dead bodies. Huh? Yeah. Alone. Never forgotten. <laughs> Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts. Shigenori, the fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. the bridge the musician mentioned. Someone weeping. Where? My lord, so many is slaughtered. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikoa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Horse tracks. Yasuhira was in a hurry. What more do you know of Yasuhira Koga? 
only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attacked, he returned. From where, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Up ahead, they're constructing a roadblock. Mongols, hide yourself. Yasuhira Koga anywhere. I don't see Yasuhira Koga anywhere. We're pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Shigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come.
What has Yasuhira been doing? The dueling ring. He's looking for it. White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tail. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Need to find white-leafed trees. Oh, my lord, this path is dangerous. Dangerous for a samurai, but not a priestess. What are you doing here? My duty, tending the shrines. When the war ends, people will need these Torii gates to mark their path, so they can find the Shinto shrines and pray for the Kami's protection. We could use their protection now. Yes, but the paths are too treacherous. I tried to visit the nearby shrine, almost fell to my death. Maybe I can reach it. As a boy, I climbed every tree and cliff around my village. If you get there in one piece, pray for our island, and take an Omamori charm for yourself. Wear it close, and the charm will change your fate. And perhaps the fate of our home. Thank you. Follow the Torii gates. They will lead you to shrines all across our island, and the Omamori charms that rest there.
so... Yasuhira must have gathered leaves from here. There it is. White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. 